Today I'm going to be explaining how to obtain culture specimen through um, wound and throat. So we're going to start with throat. And um, for both of these, before you start, you want to um, fill out the labels correctly and put them on the tubes. Um, in this situation, you would be doing it in tubes or the cup. So whatever test you're collecting. And then you would, um, for each of these, you would walk into your patient's room um, after um, practicing proper hand hygiene and then providing privacy. And then you'd want to um, check their first and last name, um, birth date, um, and look at their ID band to make sure it's all correct. And then you'd explain what you're gonna be doing. So like I said, we're gonna start with throat and what you would do is um, you get all that, all your um, things, your supplies ready, and then you would um, explain to the patient what you're doing, and you'd want to have them um, open their mouth and tip their head back. You're gonna use a light to visualize the throat, and you're gonna use a tongue blade to um, set on the tongue and have them um, say, ah, like usual as a doctor. Um, and a low note, and then without contaminating the swab, you would um, slowly move to the back of the throat, collect um, what you need, which is touching the tonsils and like the back wall of the throat or any inflammation, and then without contaminating it, you would remove it from the throat, put it in the tube, and then um, you would put it in a bag and take it to the lab. In the, within 30 minutes. So for both of these, you'd want to get them to the lab within 30 minutes. Um, if that's delayed, you'd want to refrigerate it. Um, and then what you do is remove your gloves. So at the beginning, you'd put gloves on. And then you'd remove your gloves and um, practice proper hand hygiene. Moving on to wound, what you'd want to do is um, cleanse your hands again, put on gloves, and um, remove dressing from the wound. And then what you would want to do is um, clean around the wound. And then after you clean around the wound, you're gonna wanna take off your gloves, um, clean your hands again, put on um, new gloves and set up um, sterile dressing for when the procedure is done. So then once you have those new gloves on, you're going to collect your specimen with the swab and you want to um, get where the um, main drainage area of the wound is, is what you want to collect. And you'd put it in the tube, close it, and then you'd want to um, take off your gloves, clean your hands again, um, dress the wound, and then you're going to want to um, place the tube in a sealed bag if needed, and then get it to the lab within 30 minutes, or if it's delayed, refrigerate. And then, um, again, you'd want to dress the wound again, and then um, take off your gloves, clean your hands. 